May pips and high percentages be upon you. I hope your weekend was great. This one goes out to my main man, Omar. He wanted to take a look at NZD Swiss. All right, the New Zealand dollar against the Swiss. And we're going to check it out now. Now, let's uh, first, let's do some top-down analysis real quick. Let's go to the one month, all right, the monthly. And what do we see? I want you to take your eyes to this this uh, trend line here. It's a magic trend line that retailers love to use. They think it's magical, so I call it my magic trend line. Anyway, uh, price has respected this trend line and then didn't. We had a little breakout here, didn't we? Wow. Wowzers. All right. But I want you to look at the price action. This is only tr tr uh, trend lines only secondary confirmation. All right. Always secondary confirmation. So uh, uh, an additional confluence, if you will. All right. Look at the price action. Higher, uh, uh, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. All right. Price took the structure out. It came up making these making high highs, then lower lows and lower highs to break the structure here. So at the at, at this point, you're looking at price to return to the impulse or go to the order block before the breakout. All right. And this is the one I would have been targeting. All right. Let's go to the, uh, the weekly to get a better look at this. If we go to the weekly, we can see that price broke that broke this uh broke the structure made higher highs and higher lows all the way back all right and you're thinking that uh price would uh stop at uh, uh a place along the impulse leg it did not price crashed right through it right here right this is a sign of bullishness this is a sign that the sellers are in control and buyer i mean the buyers are in control and sellers are not OK, well, we are coming back to that trend line breaking through. This is the breakout of that trend line, the long term trend line. And you can see this impulse had a correction, a very complex correction here. All right. Back to this trend line, back to a bullish order block on the daily. Let's go to the daily and check it out. The price action becomes very clear here. All right. Price did come, did break out of this long term trend line, did correct back to the trend line. OK, and I want to also bring your uh, your your eye to the relative equal lows here. All right. What what puzzles me is price didn't break that low here. Look, there's a little gap there. As you can see, why would price do that? That that confuses me because what price usually does, what market makers will do, will wick down, grab the liquidity, hit the stop orders for people who are in longs and trigger the shorts. People who are waiting here with pendings to take shorts, trigger those shorts and then take them out of their stop losses. So it's a it's a it's a it's a rough move, almost evil. <laughs> but this is the opponent that retailers play against: the market makers, the institutional uh, uh, influences. Influences uh, also are you know we're trying to go with institutional uh, 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 money, you know the, the, the smart money, and uh, you know you don't want to be caught with the dumb money or retailers. All right. And uh, we know that the the intended move was to go higher. Look at this, this bear flag. I mean, this bull flag that uh, price created, all right? There was a fake out here. This was the fake out, all right? Yes, it looks like a retest of the long-term trend line, but it was a fake out of this formation, of this bull flag formation fake low, and then went high. This is the real breakout. This was the intended move, all right? And that's this is smart money, all right? We, we, got, we get caught up here. <laughs> we get caught up here going for longs on a retest of a trend line or, a re, uh, or the uh, uh, running into the support line of, the, of, a bear, of a bull flag, 
you know, we want to take longs there and stuff. The fake out get your stop loss before it before you even get started. All right. So always look at those those trend lines and those formations and stuff. It's kind of secondary. Look at the block orders. Look at the block orders. You'll see that we ran into a bullish block order. It did not break that bullish block order, a daily bullish block order, and price took off. There's a good chance next time price comes down here, price will probably have the same kind of motion, have the same kind of reaction. Okay. All right. Now, I also want you to take a closer look at the, the, the that fake out. Look, price came down here and we had a another break of structure to the downside. So what are we supposed to be looking for? We're supposed to be looking for price to, like I told you uh, earlier, we, we was hoping that price would go here. All right. Price broke that uh, that uh, that order block. This is the originating uh, impulse. This is the return to impulse that I was expecting that price would make the lower high to and continue to make a lower low. But price, the intent of price was to go higher and it broke through this order block right here, went right through it. This is how you know price is bullish. There's nothing but buyers uh, that, that are in control right now. And that's all we can look for. Now, understanding how block orders work and breaks of structure. If you look at, look at my uh, previous videos, I explain it each time. This is a break of structure, a break of this structural high, right? So uh, let me let me mark this properly. All right. Ah. Right. All right. What am I looking for? Once we break structure, we look for a price to return to impulse, a return to impulse. And this is where it would return to right around here. All right. Which happens to coincide uh, with this uh, uh, this Look, this, the what do you call this? <laughs> the, um, the 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 resistance line of this bull flag. All right, it's going to test it not as res resistance, but as support. Being that we already broke through, so I'm thinking that price is going to come back, hit that order block, come near this uh this resistance line, and then continue its bullish trek. All right. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I would uh, urge you to look for. All right. As uh, this is the block order, I believe that price will come back to and check. Let's uh, get this right. That's a bull. OK. All right. This is what I'm looking. This is what this is what I'm looking at. All right. So I am bullish overall. I'm looking for a pullback and then a continuation of the bullish momentum. And that's it. I hope you've learned something. I hope you make uh, use this bias with your strategy and, and make plenty of money with it, okay? I will see you in the next video and take care.